How about I tell you guys about my first professional fight? That's a good one. So my first professional fight here, we're gonna, we're gonna, this is gonna take this, this story time. We gotta, we gotta pause the game because I'm an animated storyteller. Uh, we're gonna go here. We're gonna kick on some, some beats. Okay. So my first professional fight, uh, I was a professional boxer. Uh, my career ended at 16, one and two. Uh, I was 16th in the world. Um, so that's, that's the, like, I was a professional fighter. Um, my very first professional fight was the day after I graduated high school. And, uh, I fought this dude that had like 18 fights. Um, I was, I was, uh, b b before we booked the fight, my dad, he was my trainer. Um, he said, well, do you want to be a heavyweight or a cruiserweight? And now the difference there is a cruiserweight has to make weight. The cruiserweights, you know, 185 to 205 pounds, give or take. And a heavyweight is 205 and beyond. So I was like, I like food. <laughs> I'm going to be a heavyweight. <laughs> like I'm six, seven. Now I was just barely six foot in high school. Um, I was a real lanky, skinny guy. There's actually pictures in my Discord in my channel. If you scroll up, uh, Crazy Mama Al put a couple pictures from before and after fights in there. <laughs> but uh, so, like, we had our senior all nighter. It, uh, it, oh my gosh. Ignore. Oh, ignore. Oh, sorry. Ignore this guest until you finish your story. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I totally. <s> <laughs> I'm going to move this over here so I don't see it because it's my camera. But, uh, you know, graduated high school. We had our senior all nighter. I had to leave early because I had to get rest. Uh, I had my first professional fight. I fought this dude that uh, I want to say he had like, I think he had like 20 fights. It was my pro debut. He didn't have the best record. Um, he was like, I don't know, like five and 15 or something like that. And, uh, we, we went to the weigh-ins and boy, howdy, was I scared. I was so nervous. I'm thinking I'm, I'm, I'm a child, <laughs> I'm a child in a man's world. And, uh, I crossed the scales with 10 pounds worth of shoes on. Cause I had Doc Martens on a full belly, completely clothed jeans. And I was like 207. So like I was too light to fight at heavyweight. <laughs> they let me go. They let me go do it anyways. Um, you know, fast forward the next day and uh, I get I get uh, I get into the dressing room and I'm nervous and I'm a napper. I like naps. I stress sleep. So I took a nap under under the table. I got made fun of by everybody in the dressing room because <laughs> I was like, I want to say I was the f second fight. I was really, really, really early in the card because the less experience you have, the sooner you fight. That's how fight cards work. Um, I get my hands wrapped. I'm so nervous. And like they put my gloves on and these gloves are 10 ounces. I trained with 18 ounce gloves. So it's half the glove that I'm used to. My hand barely fits in it. I have a professional hand wrap on, which is gauze and tape. Like if you have your hands professionally wrapped, you can punch a brick wall and not hurt yourself. It's insane. Your, your hands turn into blocks. And uh, you know, the ref comes in, he talks to us and off we go. My fight song comes on. And my fight song was Heartache Tonight by the Eagles. Every single fight that I had, I came out to Heartache Tonight by the Eagles because it's the most real, honest song that you can uh, that you can come out to. The, the lyrics, they start out, somebody's going to hurt someone before the night is through. Someone is going to hurt someone. There's nothing you can do. It's going to be a heartache tonight. <laughs> so I was like, oh, what a better, can't, can't have a better song than that. And so we walk out and there's the smoke and the lights and the techno and like there's, I don't know, uh, 3000 people there. 
and uh, walk out and like I see the steps and it's three steps and then this this the you know the ring and it was like Mount Everest. What? And I go through and I like one two three. I was like, don't trip on the ropes. I didn't trip on the ropes. I did. I, I worked around the ring. I did a little bit of shadow boxing. You know they put your mouthpiece on Vaseline, Vaseline you up, you walk into the center of the ring. Hey buddy, touch gloves, fella. And you're the, you touch gloves and then you go out and there's this pause. There is this like stillness when you're alone. There's nobody there but you and what you worked for. <laughs> and then the bell rings and it's like, <laughs> like, I, like I'm getting goosebumps right now just thinking about it so the bell rings and it's go time like you just go and I did and I went and it had no idea what I was doing <laughs> I mean I did but I hit I ended up hitting the guy 16 times like we fought for about half the round and then I teed off on him and I hit him 16 times unanswered Meaning he he didn't punch back. I just punched him 16 times in a row. And the ref called it. He said, you know, it's over. The guy said, he didn't even hit me. And he's like, and that's why the fight's over. <laughs> and I won and I won my first fight. I stopped him in the first round. And that was the, you know, it was great. I'll never forget that. Like. I haven't told that story in a long time. Oh, it makes me like a little, a little emotional. <laughs> Thanks for, uh, man. Yeah. You know, and then, uh, and, uh, I won and then I went to the back and they basically carried me out of the ring and I saw the doctor and Then my sister was waiting in the back for me and she took my shoes off and they took my hand wraps off and it was like, like, this is it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, wow. Thanks for listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And goodness gracious. I I haven't told that story in a long time. I didn't think that it would uh, make my eyes water. But yeah, that was that is one of my uh one of my fondest memories. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shnikes. And that was my first win. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh, chap, you're here! So chap Van Note is my sister. She always took my boots off, no matter what. Thanks for the biddies, B-Team. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so cool. I miss it. <laughs> Yowza. Let's get back to some games, shall we? <laughs> Thank you for that, Setzer Heck. Dude, you always bring out the feels, you little shit. 